In this video, I'm going to help someone with their Bitcoin account. They had some issues with it and we're going to look at it. So let's actually read the question together. I woke up this morning. I couldn't log into my blockchain wallet. Later on, I did, but all my funds are gone and it generated a new wallet ID. My name is Kuda and if you are not part of our forum which is called Internet Pro Club, I encourage you to head over to the website internetproclub.com where we discuss some issues with regards to internet marketing, making money online, online entrepreneurship. So uh, be part of the community. So I'm actually going to help this person and I'm going to try and break down uh, some of the solution that this person should do and this is one of the errors that a lot of people make when they're actually getting started with um with bitcoin blockchain so if we read out this message let us actually uh look at some of the ways that uh this person really we, that we need to pay close attention that we need to pay close attention to okay so uh number one i couldn't log into my account okay i could not log into my account that's uh that's number one the person could not log into their account okay number two it's called blockchain wallet he said blockchain into my blockchain wallet and later on i did but all my funds were gone okay funds gone okay and then it generated a new wallet id so what i'm going to do is in explaining this video or the solution i'm going to uh, address all these issues one by one so number one is i can't log in okay one of the things that I always encourage everyone who is getting started with Bitcoin, this is a course for Bitcoin, okay? I've been using Bitcoin for a number of years now and I've covered all the basics, the information that you need to know as a beginner, okay? So if I can actually scroll down um, on, on, on this training, if you see uh, this thing that is called recovery phrase, okay? It's something that fixes the solution. It's something that is a solution on what this person is actually experiencing right now so the whole point before you can't log in before you use blockchain wallet before you see your funds gone before you wallet id and everything else you need to understand that you need to have what is known as a recovery phrase you need to you will understand the importance of it so head over to the website internet pro club and get started with this of course before you do anything with bitcoin make sure you complete this training otherwise right now you may have this issue otherwise it's one of those things that most people uh, do it's one of the mistakes that a lot of people do when it comes to uh, when it comes to using Bitcoin now uh, the website that is commonly used when it comes to using Bitcoin that we are using is called blockchain so as you can see the message says here in my blockchain wallet now blockchain wallet is a wallet where people keep bitcoins okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try and uh, click on log so as you can see when you're trying to log into your bitcoin wallet they're going to ask for a wallet id as you can see here it says wallet id now wallet id is what you use to log in when it comes to blockchain.com if you're using this website to keep your bitcoins you don't sign in with your email you don't sign in with your username you sign in with what is known as wallet id so wallet id is something that actually uh that actually identifies your account so probably this person generated a new account so if you can't log in here the first thing that you need to do probably some people will click uh, i've lost my wallet id you can actually enter your email address and they're going to send you your wallet id to your email then you can log into your account okay that's the first thing that this person needs to do he has to send the email that he used to create the account first okay and then the system is going to send him his wallet id and then he can actually um he can actually uh he can actually log in he can log in right there okay into his into his account using the wallet id but in some instances some people they would be forgetting their email their password okay their password and then if you click here on where it says need help you're going to see an option that says don't know your wallet id you can be reminded forgot your password recover funds okay so let's say you've created a bitcoin account and you've forgotten your password you've forgotten your e-wallet id if you need to import your bitcoin or your money from your other account you need to enter what is known as recovery 
funds okay so if you click here on which says recovery funds they're gonna ask you to enter the backup phrase so as you can see that this person has been having issues with his account he couldn't log in he had to try what he has to do but what he did was the funds are no longer are gone so the funds are actually in his old account what he just needs to do is to import those funds into his new account okay and you can only do that you can only do that when you had baked up your recovery phrase which is something that i teach in this session okay it's very very important it's very very important because at the end of the day if you don't have that recovery phrase to enter here you may not get your um you may not get your you may not get your bitcoins into your new account okay think of it this way i'm doing this video from zimbabwe think of it this way you're using eco cash okay once you're using eco cash you lose your phone you lose your line you just go and replace you get another line what do you need to do to access your funds you need to remember your passcode so that you can log into your eco cash and then the funds will be actually there that's the same thing here they give you a code which you have to keep that will import your bitcoin uh into the new account so let us head over again to the last question which is it generated a new wallet id so what you have just done there is you've just created you've just created a new account you just created on go sign up and then you've created a duplicate account so what you need to do now let me show you what you need to do okay uh, what you need to do is number one number one I want you to check the first email that you got when you created your Bitcoin account just check the the very first email the very first experience uh, that you created your Bitcoin account and then I want you to look at the wallet ID okay and you have to use that wallet id to try and log in you're going to notice on the new wallet id that you got uh, it's different from the first one that you got so what it simply means you have actually created two accounts in your in your uh you've actually created two accounts under your same email address and a lot of people have made that issue I've helped quite a number of people that even created more than 10 accounts when they were trying to uh, gain access to their account. So each time a new wallet ID was generated, each time a new wallet ID was generated. So what you need to do is to check all those wallet IDs, all those wallet IDs. And once you check on those wallet IDs, you will be able to log into that account. Okay. Here's a good example of what blockchain actually sends you. Okay. So as you can see that each email that is sent to me, it says your wallet ID. You need to identify these numbers, this set of numbers and dashes. That's what you used to use. That's what you use to log into your blockchain uh, as your username. Okay. So check all the emails that you got from blockchain and try this user ID with your password one by one, one by one. You're going to get to one of those accounts that has got your money your money is there it is it's, it's it's it is there it is there um and uh again that's all i can say unless if you have been um investing their type the other types of investments that are used via bitcoin that can wipe away your account so it depends with what you have been playing around with on that on the internet so that's all i can say and i'm for looking forward to your feedback from you just leave a comment below this video i'm gonna just give you access to this video so that you can actually uh learn more that's it for me guys if you have any questions please leave a comment and i'll be more than happy to assist and bye for now